Hey guys, I'm working on some envelopes for my little note cards. Um, I have a actually book here um, from the New York Times that's a bunch of page one copies of their page ones from their newspaper from 1896 to 1996. It's a great book for um, just you know ephemera um, newsprint type pages, and um, it, it wasn't very much. I think it was like a dollar or two on Amazon as a used book. Um, with free shipping, so I, you know, and probably if you go to your local used bookstore, but you can find something like that. Anyway, so I've been making little envelopes for my cards um, using my envelope punch board. They're not, you know, they're turning out okay. I have had the envelope punch board for a while, and I'm really not um, very proficient with it, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> So, and I'd rather buy envelopes and make them, but nobody makes an envelope that's a good size for these little cards. So I'm going to have to make them. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Um, so, and I'm still not sure if I'm going to use the envelope punch board, but I'm going to take a break from making envelopes for a while because it's kind of frustrating me. And I thought I'd make some sort of a little box here where I could organize my cards, and I thought I could... This is um, a box from my medication from Pill Pack. They send my pills in these boxes every month and I save them. And I thought it was a good size because it's just about the right height. I could stack all the cards up here on one side. And then I thought I could put like pre-cut maybe pieces of paper and or envelopes on the other side. Something like that. <laughs> I don't know. Something like that. So. Let's see what we can come up with. First thing we're going to do is like cut this lid off because it's really driving me crazy. I need a cutting board, cutting mat. Okay. So let's cut the lid off. Um, try to find the best way to do it that I'm not going to um, cut myself. And I'll do a semi a good job at it. Maybe. Oh no. <laughs> it's all crooked. Why did I bother with the straight edge? It's all crooked. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. So now I want to put a divider in here. And I thought, I just thought we would use this since, you know, I've got it. And, you know, I thought, let's cut this part off. Maybe it'll fit in there. It's a little bit too big, but it's about the right height. I just need to make it shorter. So it needs to fold right about there. So if I push on it with the edge of my ruler and make like a score line. Yep, that worked. Low tech is the way to go. <laughs> I like low tech. And then if we get it in there straight, and yep, that's perfect. And then I can put like bits and pieces and parts in the other side. I can put envelopes. I have a bunch of these shapes that I uh, sat and colored and fussy cut out last night. I could put them in here so that I have my bits and pieces when if I run low and I need to make more cards, I can just pull this box down. I like that idea. So let's get this glued in. And I want to put some tape on here. Um, we're going to just use this um, scrapbooker's glue because I have it handy from working on the cards. And we're going to tape it so I'm not going to rely on the glue to hold this in. This is just to like extra protection to kind of hold it in place while we're waiting to get the tape in there. That works. All right, let's get some tape on here. I've got this turquoise blue duct tape I thought I would use. been busy and distracted this morning working on other things that actually I guess in a way didn't need to be <laughs> done today. 
today because I had like another whole almost two weeks to get them done. But you know, you ever have one of those days where it's just like on your mind today and you don't want to wait the two weeks. You just feel like you need to get it done today. That was me this morning. Anyway, it's all done now. <laughs> So I'm going to just go around the box and then I'm going to come over here and just cut this off. Low tech, you know, this is a storage box. If it gets a few like wrinkles in it, you know, I'm not too worried. And I cut a slit up the corners. And I'm going to start with these edges here, the short edges, and just bring this down over the cardboard. And then here, we're going to have to cut a slit in it where this divider is. And then push this down. <coughs> My asthma is acting up. Blame it on all the Christmas candles and those damn cinnamon scented pine cones that are everywhere. It's getting really difficult to avoid them. Okay. So that's nice and it, you know, strengthens up the edge of the box. I want to put a little piece of tape here too, though. And I think I'm going to just lay it on top. So now I have a nice storage box for my note cards and envelopes. I'm not crazy about the envelopes. I'm going to have to work on these envelopes. If anybody has any hints or tips, I think part of the problem is I want a rectangular envelope and the punch board's really made for making square ones. If you got a tip, let me know. Uh, anyway, think about what you have laying around when you need a storage thing for your art room. You know, what cardboard boxes or other items do you have just laying around that you can quickly and easily make some kind of storage container for whatever it is. Use what you have. All right, and don't forget to have a great day and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye.